Okay, take 15. Death Note tells the story of a sociopathic genius who sets out to rid the world from evil and in the process becomes the most evil man alive, Light Yagami, known as Kira, which translates roughly into Japanese as killer. In the beginning, he finds this notebook called the Death Note. Anyone's name he writes in it dies if cause of death isn't specified with Specified they die of a heart attack in 45 seconds. He can even specify time, how, and to an extent control this person up until their death. The notebook was dropped by a Shinigami Grim Reaper or God of Death named Ryuk who was just bored. He tricked another Shinigami out of the notebook. And Light immediately... By the end of the first episode, after an experimental kill and taking it upon himself at this point to have killed over a hundred people, decides he's going to be the god of the new world. Authorities are ultimately tipped off. Something's odd here. Not because all these random criminals are dying. I mean, countless people die every day. Hundreds or more. Maybe even thousands, but what tipped them off is everyone's dying in the same manner. Now, Ryuk, he loves apples. You always see him eating them, and he's not a character that's inherently good or evil. He's just there as an observer. He's bored. He dropped the notebook on Earth to interact with who finds it and just enjoy the show. Eventually, a private detective named L gets onto the case, and I love the dynamic between L and Light. L quickly determines Light is Kira, and at some point he even begins interacting with him, and it's a constant game of cat and mouse about who can stay one step ahead of the other, and what's great about this game of cat and mouse is they're both simultaneously the cat and the mouse. And it's a great dynamic. L is a, in Kira, two of the smartest characters ever written. L was raised at an orphanage this, with this organization that basically grooms kids to be master detectives. His keeper, overseer, friend, mentor, whatever, Watari is basically to help him with everything he can't do. And L, I, he has unique postures in how he stands. He crouches when he sits because he says it helps him focus. He's constantly eating sweets. And what's weird is he even admits at one point, Kira, uh, Light is actually his friend. And it's, even though he considers Light a friend... He still knows he's Kira, and he still wants to prove it. He still wants to bring him to justice. L is a phenomenal character in one of the heroes of this story, which is another thing I like is this series, your protagonist is the villain. It follows an evil protagonist, which I like because we're normally following the good guy, and we want to see how he gets out of the situation, how he gets the bad guy. This time, you're following a guy that's just pure evil. You want to see him get caught. You want to see him answer for his crimes. And it's done so well. Even when him and Ryuk meet, Ryuk explains, look, because you used a death note, when your time comes, I will write your name in my death note. So he basically told him, the price for me letting you use this is I get to kill you one day. There's also a second bearer of a death note named Misa, who makes a deal with another Shinigami called Ren to have Shinigami eyes. Basically, if you make the deal, it cuts half your life force and it allows you to see everybody's name and how long they have to live. So, basically, someone with the Shinigami eyes, if they really wanted to, could just go walking the streets up. And just 
constantly writing names of people they see and watching them drop like flies. And she's a unique character because unlike Kira, she's not totally evil. She's bubbly. She's almost... Not almost, she's so naive, she doesn't grasp the implications of what she's doing. And yeah, I am leaving certain things out in case people haven't seen it, because I want to keep this as spoilery, spoiler-free as possible. She's in love with Light, and Light doesn't care about her. She's an ends for, to a means, and her Shinigami, Rem actually even threatens L at one point, I mean, not L, Light, and tells him, look, if you do anything to kill her, I will write your name in my death note before you finish writing her name. Which, I'll give a mild spoiler here. If a Shinigami were to intervene and stop someone's death, that Shinigami's life would be forfeited. So this Shinigami is literally willing to die to keep Misa from dying. And L is just such a wretch at this point. He even hates Misa, but she's so useful to him, he just keeps her around. And it just adds to how evil he is. I mean, to the point where when his... Again, spoiler, something happens to his father. He's even then trying to figure, as his father's dying, how to turn the situation for the better to kill more people as with the Death Note. And it speaks to how horrible of a person he became. He even kills an FBI agent, and then the guy's fiance, who was with the FBI, is working to try and figure out who... Kira is, Light meets up with her, and ultimately gains her trust enough to get her name and writes her name and how she dies in the notebook, and she's like, who are you, what are you doing with that note, why are you writing, constantly writing stuff down, and he goes, oh, it's because I'm Kira, and he just takes glee in giving her that fact before she dies, and again, for a man who only wants to punish the guilty... This is an innocent woman trying to bring to justice the person who killed her fiancé. She done nothing wrong, but Light don't care. He thinks he's a god now, and because she dares rise against him, he will strike her down. That's just the type of monster he became. Another great character is Nier. He's comes from the same organization as L, only he's younger, has the same mannerisms. There's also a third character we meet from this organization, and we see they all take on certain similar traits, like they all love sweets, but Nier is the closest to how L is. He sits in similar ways. He's still just a kid, so we see him play with toys, an experiment with them and deduct with them. He even has a Godzilla toy. And he's a very great, fun character in his own. Right. We even meet a third Shinigami who is actually the one who... Ryuk tricked to get his Death Note and dropped it on Earth in... This guy just briefly shows up to get his death note and go back to the world of the Shinigami because a death note's important to a Shinigami for multiple reasons. For one, when they kill a human, Shinigamis are not immortal. When they kill a human, that human's remaining years get added to the Shinigami's life, so they have to work if they want to live. Also, one of the interesting rules, a uh, person who uses the death note can neither go to heaven nor hell, so do they become a Shinigami when they die? Maybe. But that was interesting, too. It's just such a well-done, well-written... It's one of the best animes I've ever seen. And the last two episodes are so nail-biting. 
suspenseful. This a cat. It's a cat and mouse game on steroids. Gone Ultra Instinct. I mean, I'm not gonna say anymore because I don't want to spoil it. But when you watch the last two episodes, you will be holding your breath through the majority of it. Who's the smartest? Who comes out on top? Who just outdid who? It's phenomenal. Death Note is an A-plus effort. This is easily one of the greatest animes ever written, and I strongly suggest if you haven't seen it, or if you haven't finished it, Lethal One, go watch it, take in how amazing it is. And watch the Netflix movie at your own risk. I'll be reviewing that next. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, over and out.